Well, we finally got that new air mass building down over us. The leading edge, of course, is the front of it, and that is pushed onto the south, and where you get the front of it, it comes in, it's, it's a, we call it a dome of high pressure, but a lot of times it's kind of wedge-shaped, and it will wedge underneath warm, moist air and give it that additional lift. And last night after we uh, got off the air, there was a terrific light show to the north, but there wasn't that much in the severe weather associated with it. I saw one report of 76 mile an hour winds and one report of some uh, damage, thunderstorm damage, but overall it, it was a good rainmaker if you got under some of the heavier cells to our uh, north areas and northeastern areas got some real heavy rains, uh, got two inches, two and a half inches. As we got back to the west a little bit, there were breaks in the activity and they were kind of shorted, but everybody got something and we're now all going to get some cool air. We've got a couple more surges of the uh, cooler air building in, so you can see we're just gradually cloud clearing. The clouds are thinning out. They were kind of a thick deck of clouds. Now if you look outside, it's a thinner deck and we're opening out the sky. So we're just going to decrease the clouds, the temperatures, while they're still kind of warm in places, 80s to the west and northwest, where we already got into some sunshine a little earlier and took on some heat. And then we uh, have the normal warmer temperatures to our southeast, but generally 70s now. We're going to cool down the 60s tonight to the south of us. Slower cloud clearing will trap a little more heat. Sustained winds will come out of the north 5 to 15 miles per hour. And we're going to see some changes now in that we've got two more surges of cool air coming in. There's a big high pressure ridge to the northwest of us and coming around the top of that some cool air. As it comes down, we tighten the pressure gradient, so you go with a tightened uh, gradient that builds our winds a bit. We'll get gusty winds. The skies should be generally open. 63 to start, 82 big number, and then additional cooling with that surge keeps us 57, 72 in a gusty north wind on Saturday. Sunday, the winds die down, 52 and 78. Then we gradually recover. Now we have a front coming in just before that eclipse. If it comes fast and doesn't amount to much, we'll have nice open skies. We're going to have to watch that time frame very closely. We'll be back after the break.